Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. Hey, it's Tuesday. Um, I am so late today. Like, I am I even allowed to make a podcast at a quarter to ten? <laughs> um yeah, so I was right reading the energy yesterday. It is definitely a little bit of an off week for me. Not that off is bad. Okay, I think that is something that we have to get into our heads. Off is not bad. It's just different. It's just different than the routine we've been doing. It's just different than the feelings and vibrational set point that we have been you know, broadcasting. So anyways, it's a little bit of an off week for me, but it's cool. Um, today's Tuesday, Tuesday Tarot Tarot Tuesday. We're gonna do a tarot layout and it feels off too, but it, I think I'm gonna try it anyways and just see. It's from the Celestial Witch and there's nothing off about the tarot spread other than the fact that I'm drawn to it <laughs> and I don't have any, I don't think that the cards, my this deck is gonna work for this spread, but I'm open to trying it anyways. It's called the Social Media social media tarot spread by the celestial witch um you can use oracle cards too like anytime this even says tarot and oracle spread um so if you have tarot cards let's get them shuffled let's do a spread if you want now this one i'm doing for herbal marie yeah for sure so this is a social media and this i guess herb oracle too but um i'm i'm gonna kind of like do it focusing on the Herbal Marie podcast and of course this one too I guess it's all all together my projects but this is a social media spread um basically like trying to see like how you can grow your audience and things so there's it's five cards let me let me explain it to you so um it seems like the first one's in the center and then uh, it looks like west, west, east, south, north. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the first question will be, how can I expand my social media following? And, um, you know, like, so I'm just going to use Herbal Marie as an example because, 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 you guys, it's my podcast. And um, so Herbal Marie has just been, like, shy of a thousand followers on Instagram um, you know, and those are just numbers because there's certainly not a thousand people that like my pictures or, you know, but it's kind of like I see that that threshold and it's like, when am I going to get over a thousand? Now, um, same thing with the podcast. Like, I'm really curious, like, when are the numbers going to double? Now, I'm not even sure. I'd have to look. Let me... Let me open up the app here. Um, as of right now, Herbal Marie total plays are 21,000, 21.3 thousand. So, I mean, it's been played a lot and I should be satisfied with that, I suppose. <laughs> but it's kind of like interesting and I wanna see if the this deck, the Herb, Herb Crafters Tarot has anything to say to me now. I'm really especially looking forward to getting advice from the Herb Crafters Tarot about my herbal podcast and questioning when it's going to actually take off in the herbal community, right? So we'll see if we get any answers. If not, we'll just waste our time together for the next hour. Um, the second question will be, how can I create engaging, valuable content? See, I don't even know how this is going to work. Number three is, who is my target audience? bunch of stingy bastards no, <laughs> and what do I have to offer that is unique and the fifth one is the next action step so I don't know it's kind of like a layout that I'm like why do you why are you picking this one like there's other layouts to pick but for 
whatever reason, like I'm drawn to this layout, maybe just to see something fail today. I don't know. But anyways, how are you? I'm a little off, <laughs> but that's okay because I still have dill. I, we got the herb of the week dill, bringing in that enthusiasm. Um, what else did Dill have to say? Oh yeah, sweeping away all darkness and depression. So yeah, like I got some, a few challenges this week um, and I'm doing my best to stay above it and rise above it and sweep away all darkness. And I am trying to do my best to stay open to new thoughts and ideas. Um, yes, and I love, I love communicating carefully and truthfully. So yeah, I'm really just letting everything come out this week um, in my life and saying what I need to say. Not that anything is bad, but I mean, even little things like, you know, when you hold back and not tell people little things because um, you're not sure if they would want to hear them, take them well, or be offended. Like really, that's not being truthful when you're like trying to not tell people things a lot of times. So I'm just actually telling people everything and and, and uh, it's actually going over pretty good. So I focus on free thinking. That's another thing that Dill wanted us to do this week and affirm to ourselves, I am moving forward in my life with inner peace and balance. And I would say like I definitely am doing that. Um, I just was outside, it's like, it's very springy. I think tomorrow's gonna get wintry and then springy again, but I'm loving it. I love it. I'm loving this uh, early spring taste anyways um, in February 2020. So we're on the fifth week here at Ho, and I have no idea how uh, it's gonna go, but the Celestial Witch has a bunch of other spreads too, and uh, I love her page. I just I just stumbled upon it, and uh, yeah, it's a good, these are good questions. So if you have a social media account that you're trying to promote um, for whatever reason, you got something to sell, you got something that you wanna offer people, you just wanna connect, you just wanna be world famous, um, get your deck out and, and uh, let's clear it. And I like to put my deck up to my chest, put it on my heart and just both my hands over it kind of breathe some energy into it, squish it into my heart space, let it know that I love it. And it's, it, I give it permission. I give it permission to bring forth any, any messages I'm ready for, um, any insight that might help me. It definitely has become less important for me to grow my social media. Um, I've definitely detached away from it, but yet at the same time, like, you know, as I'm doing these herb podcasts for Herbal Marie and the Tarot podcasts and all these podcasts here, Herb of the Week, event, like I would like it to always be available to whoever wants to connect with it. You know, like I do want to put out something that helps people now and in the future. Um, like money hasn't become well, I used to really be like, where's the money, where's the money, where's the money, because I needed it. Now I don't need money as much. And um, so I've sort of let up. I've sort of let up on my expectations um, for my social medias and my podcast and uh, my Patreon, really. There was no other choice other than to give up on that. So, I mean, that is kind of like something in my vibrational craw, though, though that's not... It's really not positive because I definitely have a chip. I got a little chip on my shoulder. Uh, like even like with Herbal Marie, like uh, the, probably like 300, 350 is the average audience um, for my podcast. Like regular listeners, probably 3, 350, okay? Um, those are the people that come back pretty much every single time and have a listen to the podcasts, right? So out of 350 people, only 20 of them think that the podcast is worth putting $1 in the tip jar a month. <laughs> so it's like, just imagine it's like the dancer dancing on stage and the, the room is packed, packed 350 people in that room and she's, she gets $20. 
and she only works one day a month. <laughs> but actually, she puts in the time every day, but she only gets to cash out 20 bucks a month, but she's dancing all the fucking time. So that is, that is probably pretty negative of me. <laughs> so it's really actually good that I've detached and tried to not care because then it helps me continue to make the podcast that people seem to enjoy but not support. And, um, you know, I do want to put that out in the world. It's more important for me to share my podcast for free than, you know, to get ego gratification. And so, or financial gratification. So Gaia, I hope that you appreciate me because I certainly appreciate you. I'm in love with you, Gaia. I literally do whatever you need me to do. And she blesses me. Gaia blesses me. Um, she makes herbs grow around me abundantly, gives me everything that I need, gives me new things to be excited about and lots and lots of love. Um, but yeah, so I have to stay connected to like, who do I do this for? Gaia. <laughs> you know, what am I doing this for? The herbs. Who do I work for? The earth. And then kind of leave the earthlings out of it for right now. However, we are going to do the social media spread. So if there's anything that like I could be encouraged, reminded, or taught today from these tarot cards, when it comes to my social media, um, <clears throat> yeah, expanding it, creating more valuable content. I often think about that too. Like, um, you know, I guess like, like I do offer my notes to my patrons, but I guess they're stupid and like nobody wants them. Like I'm like, well, you really need to like maybe offer something more like you did on with like graphic design or more pleasing to the eye or maybe this or that. So I'm thinking eventually I will try to do something like that. Um, more valuable content. Um, I love putting together, um, you know, for a while. I, I did a couple magazine templates, like the one year just for fun. I really enjoyed that. So maybe someday I will get more on that. Who is my target audience? What do I have to offer that is unique? And next action step. So I'm just gonna go through these five cards. Hey. The Herb Crafters Tarot is awesome sauce on its own. It might not give me any insight about these questions, or maybe it will, but nonetheless, we will enjoy getting a few messages, even if they literally have nothing to do with the social media spread from the Celestial Witch. So anyways, thank you and shout out to the underscore Celestial underscore Witch. You can find her on Insta. Graham, and I will link to her, of course, when I take pictures of this layout. Everything on her page is purpley and pinkish and sparkly, so you'll you'll really like it. It's good. Um, it's good. Her page is good. <sighs> All right, Sadie. So yeah, I would like to clean up my animosity to my listenership. Isn't that awful? Like, I have a podcast that has over 20,000 plays. I can't remember the number now. Um, and instead of feeling, like, proud of myself, I feel like I obviously am not doing a good enough job because it's not supported. Or instead of, like, loving that everybody, I just resent them. I'm just like, you guys suck. Like, that's, that's how I feel about my Herbal Marie podcast. Um, people who listen there. Now, obviously, probably not you. <laughs> but as a majority, I find it hard. I find it hard to appreciate these people that I don't know. I do. I, if I'm being completely honest, I I don't know who these 350 people are that come back for every fucking podcast and listen. Um, and and some, sometimes it's more plays than that per podcast. It depends on the one. But I'm saying on average. And there's a couple podcasts that bring I know that have brought that average down because people just did not want to tune into. Like one time I made a podcast called You Can Help This Podcast Grow. And I just, it really was like, a, hey, can you post on your Facebook or this, like some tell a friend, you know, print out a card, pass them out. And um, no one 
hardly listen to that podcast. They were just like, no. <laughs> no, we will not help this podcast to grow. So anyways, um, that is the um, pre-existing conditions that I have, the pre-existing energies going into this social media tarot spread. So the energies going in are slightly negative, resentful, closed off. See, I feel like that type of energy closes me off um, from accepting improvements, you know? And hey, don't get me wrong. I have a whole list of people who have reached out, been supportive, supported from the day one, okay? There are people that have supported this podcast from like as soon as I, as the first time they heard it. So the 20 people that I do have, I'd say about a dozen of them are golden. There's like a, there's always an ebb and flow. Like every month, like one new one comes, three leave, another, you know what I mean? Like, so, but like a dozen of those people that support have supported. And um, yeah, so I don't want to sound like there aren't amazing people. But the majority, let me just shake my head. I mean, honest to God. All right. So anyways, Herbal Herb Crafters Tarot. Um, yeah, like I would like to clear this bitchness. Absolutely. I feel like the deck is asking me that. Do you think this serves you? No, I know it doesn't. Do you want to clear it? If I can right? You have to want to. I, I get, yeah, I would. I would like to, but I would like it to be authentic, you know? So for me, it's like, I just try not to think about it. I don't look at, like, I hadn't looked at the numbers in a while. I try not to, I turned off my notifications, like, to Patreon. Like, if I get a new patron, I don't even hardly want to know because I'll just be, like, waiting for them to leave. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, oh my gosh, I remember the first patron that um, left that like really actually hurt my feelings and I was like, oh, what did I do wrong? So I really need to like, um, I, I mean, I try to not let myself get in to, to it. All right. <sighs> Have I said enough? Good Lord. All right, the Celestial Witch made this awesome social media layout tarot layout. Number one, how can I expand my social media following? How can I expand my social media following? Okay, how can I expand my social media following? That's the first one. <laughs> like without paying Facebook to pimp me out. Like screw you Facebook. <laughs> how about you just let people see what I post? No, they hide your posts unless you want to pay. All right, how can I create engaging and valuable content? Um, hire somebody else to make it for you. <laughs> okay, how can I create engaging and valuable content? Oh, oh I have to, I guess I'm, hmm. Two popped up and then they went back down and then I'm stopped. So I'm just gonna do the one on the top, I guess. All right, number three is who is my target audience? I don't know if two, two will make sense or not. Who, this one wants to come off the bottom. Who's my target audience? Here, I'm trying to lay these out just like in the picture. Okay, now we're going down south to four. What do I have to offer that is unique? Also off the bottom. And the next action step. Next action step, probably the death card. Okay, the last three came off the bottom. They just wanted to come off, so I did it. I did, I did it, I let them. Okay. Ready? I don't, no guarantees this will even make sense and that's of no, that's not cause of the, lay, the layout's awesome. I just am like, how are these herbs gonna clue me in about my social media page unless it's like quit being a bitch but I'm really not a bitch all the time but guess what just talking about it activated the bitch and now she has been on call this week I'm not gonna lie like in my life the bitch has been 
available. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, so usually I don't even think about my social media. I'm posting it just to post what I need to, what I want to. And then if people like it, fine. If they don't, fine. Like I'm trying not even to notice, you know? However, talking about it completely reactivated all the things that are not yet resolved within me. There's just no way to, for me right now to resolve the fact I wish I knew fractions and percentages, but like 20 people out of 350, what's like, what's the, even the math on that? Like there's a lot of people that listen that don't, I don't know. Like I, I can't even say that I don't think it's worth it because they keep coming back. So apparently they like it. They just don't think it's important to support their podcaster. That's fine. All right, may all energy be returned. Okay, so here we go. How can I expand my social media following? Okay, let's just see what we got. We'll be open. We got Linden. We got Linden. Okay, this is interesting. So it's the Hija. I did not look these up, so I still have no idea. It's the daughter of air. No, earth. Daughter of Earth. Ooh, Daughter of Earth. And it's Linden. All right, so she looks like she's building a little Linden fence. Okay, so how can I expand my social media following? Linden says, return to a beginner's path. Lighthearted as a blossom, grounded as a sheltering tree. Be flexible as you build your future. All right, so maybe these are maybe it going maybe it is gonna work, you guys. Um, that's a little bit of an insight. How can I expand my social media following? Well, return to a beginner's path. That to me says, okay, so what you're doing now, it's worked a little bit, but maybe like start fresh again. Like don't like clear everything off, but like maybe clean the slate. Like brainstorm again, think of something new, look at it from a fresh perspective. Um, yeah, return to a beginner's path. Go easier, maybe. You know, simplify, return to a beginner's path. Go over the basics. Maybe there's some like things that like you could review like redo again or rethink about or oh don't forget to do this and that. Like yeah, the basics, return to a beginner's path um, and start doing things like you're doing them for the first time. Lighthearted as a blossom, lighten up you bitch, that's what that says to me. Um, grounded as a sheltering tree. So yeah, be grounded, don't let, don't let it affect you. Don't let it, um, Don't let it shake you, sister. I mean, it's just social media. And it really doesn't, like, thank God I detached or it really, like, would have brought me down. But, yeah, so I avoid social media except for bare minimum. And, yeah, I'm not getting much, much out of it personally. Be flexible when you build your future. So be open. How can you expand your social media following? Be flexible for sure. Um, maybe consider doing some new things, beginner things. Um, yeah, be definitely flexible. Let's see what's going on here in this picture. It's Linden. A child weaves a wattle fence with Linden branches around a small garden. It is haphazard and uneven, but effective and useful. She has protected that sage that wants to jump beyond its own borders. A large linden tree stands nearby, covered in cream cover cream colored flowers. The daughter of Earth loves to take on new responsibilities. She approaches her duties with the earnestness of a child, proud to do her part. Ooh, just gonna interrupt myself. Yeah, it's like just be proud. Like I think there is a good message. Like okay, yeah. It would be nice to expand your social media so you can reach more people so that you can have a greater impact. But just be proud of what you're adding to the whole, 
to the to you know you're you're adding to the the herbalism group right the herb the herbal community um just be just do your work and proud to do your part when faced with difficult work she chooses reliable allies as companions she knows that linden is more than just a lovely tea like the branches of this beloved tree she is flexible willing and strong she learns to protect her resources by surrounding them with what she loves just as linden flowers provide medicine of joyfulness she takes her she takes on her task with a playful air so it's like yeah like i would definitely say like how do you how can i expand my social media following by putting maybe more of myself more of my fun into it um, being flexible putting some good energy into it um, taking on the task of social media which it is a task taking it on with a playful air just really having fun with it not even giving up not even giving up um, so if you want to craft with the daughter of Aaron Linden you can embrace ancient ways by learning to forage wild food harvest fresh linden leaves for salad learn to build a wattle fencing from young branches to protect a favorite plant in your garden be flexible with your plans stop to enjoy iced linden flower tea in the hot summer as you work so it's like yes absolutely keep working on your social media um, keep it fresh keep it flexible have fun and do things with a playful air I mean do the work but have fun yeah so okay that was a good message all right we're good we're done here <laughs> all right so now the second card was how can I create engaging and valuable content and this was the one that I like I was a little confused if this was the correct card because like two popped up in the center and then but then they went back down and I'd stop shuffling so I just went with the one on the top um, let's see what number two is it's pomegranate all right so nine of air pomegranate to answer the question how can I create engaging slash valuable content pomegranate says no love no grief like you know knowledge no love no grief claim your underworld crown you are the sky everything else is the weather um i i i i i <laughs> okay the branches of a tall pit i don't have nothing i'm just going to read it the branches of a tall pomegranate tree sag with the ripe, heavy fruit. Beyond the tree, a pathway leads to a desert mountain. The sun disappears, then reappears beneath unpredictable storm clouds. On a table inside, a large pomegranate is split open with a bowling, bowling? it's like a curved knife. Red juice drips, seeds scatter to the floor. Okay, so how can I create engaging and valuable content? Pomegranate says, let go of what you cannot control. Let go of what you cannot control. Pomegranate is the tree that leads to Demeter's agonizing loss in the Greek myth. Her daughter, Persephone, consumes the seeds and seals her fate as queen of the underworld. As a hike through the desert will prove, pain is one path to wisdom when heartache enters your life do not turn away all right so yeah yeah i mean it does it, it I, I could say that herbal marie is certainly a mild form of heartache it's not like heartache from the loss of a person but it is definitely disappointing um because it's done great but I just it for putting in over a year's work and I'm continuing to work in it 
and just watching it not change really in any great manner because that means those 300 people don't tell if anybody about it. Like if people would just spread the word about it, that would be enough for it to grow. But people just don't. All right, anyways. When heartache enters your life, do not turn away. In the prophet, Kahil Gibran says, the deeper that sorrow, the deeper that sorrow carves into your being, the more joy you can contain. Do not hurry your grief. Pomegranate fruit, fruit must be harvested at just the right time. It will not ripen off the tree. You will live through shattering experiences and still stand proud. When you are ready, quench the thirst of guilt, regret, and worry. Invite in forgiveness. Yeah, quit being a bitch. Invite in forgiveness. Yeah, and I'm like pretty much there. Like I really, I don't, I mean, that's fine. But yeah, I do. I still feel it. I still definitely feel it. And to me, it just makes me want to finish my podcast and then um, quit. That's how it makes me feel. Like once I get all my herbs done and um, the herbal tarot over on Herbal Marie, and I have like another list too that I would like to offer more podcasts. Once I get my collection of podcasts done, I'm just probably going to walk away. You know, and I'll start something new or I'll just take time off to like read and sew and lay in the garden and never say another word again. <laughs> but it's like, it's okay to feel this way, Pomegranate saying. It's like, go the fuck head. Um, because the deeper that this carves into your being, like as soon as, like if, it, if, you, if I want it to like eat at me, eat a hole within me, fine, go ahead. Um, and then as soon as I'm ready, forgive it and let it go. We can fill it in with joy. And I really, I should be proud of it. And I, I guess I am, but I just, apparently I'm not enough. All right. Anyways, um, I could write my grief with a feather and pomegranate juice. I could tear open a pomegranate. I could enjoy the seeds, claim my underworld crown. I could drink pomegranate juice to calm my spirit and heal the heart when it is overcome by emotion. So those are ways to craft with the nine of air. The nine of air. Basically like saying, I didn't really answer how I can create engaging, valuable content though. I mean, I got messages like invite and forgiveness. Ooh, that's it. It's like, just forgive these mother truckers and don't even ask for for anything in return. Just give, just give the information out. That's what it's saying. How can I create more valuable content? Well, get the bad juju off of it. <laughs> like, just give it freely. But actually, forgive and not hold resentment and truly give it freely. That would make it more valuable. But, um, all right. That's all I got from that. Who is my target audience? We'll do one more, then I'll we'll take a break and do our affirmations. Who is my target audience? Ah, the sunflower, the magician. The magician is see. There's only one person listening <laughs> to my podcast. It's the magician. Who is my target audience? One, one person. <laughs> This is good. Um, I love it. So the magician is my target audience. The sunflower. Um, that is really cute. There's some cute charms under this flower. So unleash your magic. Radiate power and potency from one seed a thousand. So actually what I feel like this is saying is, um, yeah, you are your you are your target audience, which is a good reminder for me because that is who I I do I do do this all for. I guess I am doing this for myself. So this spread is almost like irrelevant. It's like, yeah, on the one hand, you want other people to benefit from it too, but don't forget that like really, the the person that the target audience that it benefits the most is me. 
it's me. Um, yeah. So maybe like, it's like, just enjoy, just enjoy. That's why you have to just enjoy making them, doing them, getting them done. Even if that's, if you're just really loving that you're finally doing them because you said you would, and now, now you're pumping them out. Now you're getting them done. So it's like, don't even worry about whoever those 350 people are. You don't even need to know them. You keep on making podcasts that you will like to listen to when you're an old, old lady. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because like, that's going to be fun for me. So make sure I don't lower the bar or complain too much or put bad juju in it because I don't want to listen back when I'm 130 years old and be like, oh, honey, you really should have let that go. You know what I mean? Like, um, I need to just make them as if, I need to make my podcast like something I would enjoy listening to. So that is the target audience. Who is my target audience? Nobody, just your goddamn self. So a vibrant sunflower lies on a weathered table. One of the leaves gestures toward the sky, the other toward the ground. Black seeds form a lemuscant above the flower. What? It looks like an infinity sign or an eight on its side. Lemniscant. Skate. Lemniscate? About, I don't know. Casting charms are tossed onto the table, revealing the tools of the herb crafter. Bowline, mortar and pestle, kettle, and basket. The power of manifestation lives within. Ooh, that's good. The power of manifestation lives within. All the information necessary to create life is contained in the seed. Yet it is the elements that make the sunflower grow. Wind strengthens the stalk. Water feeds the plant. Fire is converted to energy by the leaves. Earth anchors the root. Nourish your ideas with the elements and watch them bloom into being. Receive divine light from the unseen realms. Shape it into form, then give it all away. Sunflower roots travel for miles underground, bringing nutrients to the flower. When it matures, the flower head bends to the earth and unleashes thousands of seeds. Be a conduit of transformation for others. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. I think last week I was like, I'm never going to doubt this, this tarot deck. And then this week I doubted it. And now I want to say, I'm never going to doubt this tarot deck. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, I need to be a conduit of transformation for others. So, it's like pomegranate was really let, allowing me to feel my darkness. It wasn't she. It was just like feel your darkness with these podcasts and um, you know, give your it's okay to do that. And then sunflower is like, "Yeah, and now that you've done that and you've been honest, Let's transform. Let's have an amazing transformation. Um, yes, and give it all away. Give your, give, shape, shape your creations into form. Shape your podcasts into form and then give it all away. I mean, just give it all away. Interesting. All right, so crafting with the magician and the sunflower, it says, Boost magical potency by eating sunflower sprouts for energy. Learn to read casting charms for others. Multiply creativity with guerrilla gardening. Plant sunflowers everywhere and share your seeds. I love it. So, so yeah, I mean, how do I want to help my, my target audience? I, I mean, I just got to keep on giving the information out and then... Yeah, like a little, like the little goldfinches that are attracted to the sunflowers, they'll find me if they like 
what I'm offering. They'll hang around, right? How can I make more valuable content? It probably already is valuable, just give it away now. <laughs> just give it away, give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Um, and then, yeah, um, be lighthearted about it and playful. That's what our first card was. And, and those three things definitely should help expand um, the social media following at Herbal Marie. All right, let's take a break, grab a drink, do our affirmations, and then we'll see what we think about number four and number five from the Celestial Witch Tarot Spread on social media. This Affirmation Minute is brought to you by the Herb of the Week, Dill. Woo! And I dedicate these all to you. Thank you so much for your support. Let us get it rolling. I feel enthusiasm for life. I sweep away all darkness and depression. I open myself to new thoughts and ideas. I communicate carefully and truthfully. I focus on free thinking. I am moving forward in my life with inner peace and balance. Big, big breath. Let it go, let it go, let it go because I feel enthusiasm for life. I sweep away all darkness and depression. I open myself to new thoughts and new ideas. I communicate carefully and truthfully. I focus on free thinking and I am moving forward in my life with inner peace and balance. And with these words said, so it is. I have to laugh because like that first time that I said I am enthusiastic for life, it was like, I feel enthusiasm for life. <laughs> Come on, girl. You can do it. Put your back into it. You can do it. All right. So num we have number four and five now left on the social media tarot spread by the Celestial Witch on Instagram. And number four asks, what do I have to offer that is unique? Are you doing this along with me? All right, so now you're gonna find out what do you, what you have to offer that is unique. What What's with the smirk on my face right now? All right, let's just see what it is. What do I have to offer that is unique? Catnip. We just got catnip last week. It's the daughter of air. So she is right under the daughter of earth. Very interesting. So catnip is back to answer the question, what do I have to offer that is unique? It says return to beginner's mind, first thought, best thought, make mischief with a sleeping cat. So what do I have to offer that's unique? Uh, I can clear my mind, I can think of new things in new ways. That's what makes the Herbal Marie podcast interesting is that I'm, I'm presenting the information in a different way, a little bit, than it's been done before. Um, and I'm open to doing things differently, like uh, with each of the herbs too. Like I, there is a format that I follow for coherency and consistency and relatability, but I am open to like, getting and receiving ideas new. So first thought, best thought, I need to really go with my ideas. Um, that's maybe what I have to offer that's unique. And make mischief with a sleeping cat. Yeah, I am definitely, that's probably is what I have to offer that is unique. Um, I don't mind stirring the pot or being a troublemaker or saying what, however I feel. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't mind messing with the sleeping cat, right? Um, and, uh, whew, so we got this last week. There's a cat on, under some catnip. You can hardly see it. Um, there's catnip going everywhere. Little daughter of air picking catnip, and then next she's going to reach toward the animal. 
Um, so the daughter of air invites everything to be her teacher. So what do I have that's unique? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely enjoying learning and being the student as I teach. Uh, playfully, be playful. Um, and it says, like this herb that grows wild through the garden, she lets the world around her inform the direction she takes. She approaches learning with the innocence of a child and she may visit a well-known subject with the curiosity of a beginner. So yeah, what do I have to offer that is unique? A fresh perspective, a new outlook, um, you know, looking at these herbs that maybe you feel like you've heard it and done it all, I can look at them and maybe find another thing that we haven't. So anyways, um, that's what I have to offer that is unique. All right, fine, I'll take that. All right, our last card is the next action step. So how do I expand my social media following, making valuable content, connecting with my target audience, which was the magician, which was myself. <laughs> yeah, just keep doing it for me. Keep doing it because I love it. Like I would do it, I should feel blessed that 350 people tune in and listen to the podcast. Because guess what? I would do it even if there was only three people. I would do it for, just for myself. So, in a lot of ways, I don't even give a shit if I expand my social media, um, my following, and my podcast following. I would like to because I want the information to get out there and I want them to tell people. I want people to be inspired to use herbs. And I want people to heal themselves and I want people to respect the earth and connect with Gaia. You know, um, I want all of those things. I really do. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to play like it wouldn't be freaking amazing. If those 350 people all pledged a dollar and I actually had like every month $300 coming my way, that would be nice. That would be nice. That would be great. That would make it seem like, um, it would, that would make it seem like podcasting was actually my job, not just something that I dick around with. All right, last card. Next action step, we have 10 of water, red clover. So guess what I'm gonna be drinking today? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so the next action step is red clover 10 of water she says taste the nectar of deep nourishment serenity rises from the roots of gratitude compost breeds contentment so I could not be happier with red clover being the next action step because yeah, like she's she's gonna help me let this go as she removes wastes and clears out the lymphatic system in our body, detoxifies. She's gonna help me let this go. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy because it's like, don't you, th yeah, don't you think that I want to let this go? Absolutely, absolutely. I would love to let it go. I would love to feel the serenity that rises from the roots of gratitude. Yeah, I would love to feel gratitude and appreciation um, for the work that I do, just on my own, loving my work, regardless of it, if it's validated by its listenership. Like, my ego's like, yeah, but it's so confusing because it's like, why do people keep coming back if they don't want to, like, be decent to you? Do you know what I mean? It's just like, it's just like the world uses you, you know? Um, but anyways, let me, um, let me answer this phone call. Red Clover, Red Clover, bring your healing right over. Um, fresh red clover blossoms dry on a sunny windowsill. You will love this card. It's fun. A jar of flowers sits on a table. Some are placed in a glass teapot. A well-loved rainbow mug holds the steaming green tea 
as bees visit the purple field beyond the window. So it is just red clovers everywhere. Serenity is born from nourishment of the soul. Experience the joy and stability of your dreams coming to life. As the deep taproot of red clover restores the soil underground, the bright flowers delight humans and animals above ground. When you feel refreshed and happy, freely share your good fortune with others. Radiate peace and abundance. Red clover needs to be planted only once to flourish on its own. Trust your wishes to unfold without interference. The tea is as delicious as it is healing. The road to well-being can be filled with harmony. This can be, it can be this good. So she's saying, you know, what is the next action step? Um, well, some fun things that we could do with the Ten of Water Red Clover is sit on the earth and taste the nectar of red clover flowers one petal at a time. Oh yeah, and they taste like honey. <laughs> They're good. Like stick your tongue in, in like nibble the petals and, and like stick your tongue in there. Trust me. <laughs> Dance barefoot with gratitude in a field of clover to find serenity. Enjoy daily red clover infusion to find contentment and give the used herbs back to the earth. All right, so this is perfect. The next action steps for me when it comes to social media and Herbal Marie and my podcast in general is really to get nourished, you know, share myself when I'm feeling good. Don't ever um, work when I'm not you know, feeling refreshed and happy, right? Because I want to share my good fortune with others um, when I'm feeling free to do that, when I'm radiating peace and abundance. Yeah, I mean, I am well taken care of. I don't actually need their money. It's just the whole politics of it. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as I can get my ego to just let it go, girl, just let it go. You're just going to have to love your podcast, enjoy your podcast, produce your podcast because you that cuz you like it. Cuz you like doing it for you. And really just give freely and expect nothing except the good feeling that it feels to give freely. <laughs> Except for the good feeling that it feels to give freely. That's like, that's what you get in return. And then I love that it says, um, your wishes, trust that your wishes to unfold without interference. So you've, you're just planting seeds here. You're just planting seeds at Herbal Marie. They'll, it'll flourish. It'll take off. And if you do um, get some more high quality content on your Patreon page, um, yeah, like maybe give people like more of an incentive to sign up and donate a dollar a month. Like your handwritten chicken scratch notes are probably not going to do it. I mean, it's fine. Keep putting them up there. But like, yeah, probably need something more of value to share. And then people will be happier to shove a dollar down your granny panties. So the tea is delicious as it is healing. Um, and yeah, I'm going to definitely drink some red clover tea today and let it fill me with harmony. Let it help me let go thing, go of things and allow me to be more content with where it all is. And although I wasn't expressing any discontent or wanting or even interest in my social media, when we started talking about it, it unearthed. It, it, it shook up a bunch of stuff that um, even though it had settled to the bottom, it was still there, right? So I still need to clear some resentment, some attachment, some expectation, some negativity. Um, I need to clear those things out because um, just letting them settle and forgetting about them isn't really a good idea because like I said, the second I started talking about this, uh, 
it was very unresolved. So anyways, thank you. Red Clover, Sunflower, Linden, Pomegranate, and Catnip. Thank you, the Celestial Witch. Um, this was definitely super duper fun. The social media tarot spread layout by the Celestial Witch on Instagram. So on that note, I really do want to shout out the people that do not fall into that collective of 350 selfish buggers. I mean, you know who you are. If you were like, I support you, I listen in, I love the podcast, I am not talking about you when I am referring um, to the others. And I just want to thank you. I want to thank you um, for enjoying it, for showing up, um, for telling your friends about it. I want to thank you for sending me the, the messages you've sent me uh, or just good vibes in general. Like, I really do appreciate you. I appreciate you hanging out. And I just appreciate the fact that um, you are gaining something from the podcast. So I just want to send love, love, love um, to the people that do support. And I, you know what? It would be a good step for me to send love, love, love to the future people who are going to support and that could be years from now. <laughs> like the people who end up really loving the Herbal Marie podcast, um, they it might take them a couple years to even find it. And those are the people that might um, be supporting long after I've I've uh, put my microphone away. So there really is when something is a perennial, there really is no end to it. And I really have to start seeing my podcast. Herbal Marie as a perennial. So that social media um, should, you know, be something that I enjoy doing, I have fun with, I make it lighthearted, but also just know that like at some level it will take care of itself as long as, you know, I don't put too much negativity in it and, and kill it <laughs> and kill it <laughs> and kill it with my negative vibes. So I loved all the messages today. Thank you for hanging out for Tarot Tuesday, Tuesday Tarot. Um, wow. I'll see you back here tomorrow. We're going to manifest more of something. Uh, aspiration should be great. See you then. Bye.